the benchmark is uh, decreased uh, by catch into 30%. The management action, uh, the, man the management action we have a program of uh, one observer put in both at least five uh, percent, and uh, we improving national working group based on the fishing gears. Uh, the rule uh, and regulation, government institution, uh, law and regulation. The finance uh, we get from uh, government, or we make a MOU with NGO. The uh, next is uh, issue uh, degradation mangrove and coral area. Uh, we improve the objective is rehabilitation of mangrove and coral area. Indicator is uh, mangrove and coral area. The benchmark increase uh, to uh, 20 percent more than this year. The management action is install artificial artificial coral reef. Uh, we have fish house program. Maybe uh, some kind of you uh, rather confused with this fish house. So we improving the uh, some kind like a fish aggregating device. But the first is to ha uh, to have the fishing operation to more effective. This uh, kind of this, but it cannot use for commercial. This is for uh, conservation. To uh, yeah, and then we are replanting mangrove in destruction area. The rules and regulation again, government institution laws and regulation. The finance from government and NGO. And the uh, third goal is increasing social economic benefit from sustainable fisheries to ensure employment and to uh, property affiliation. The objective is increase the fisheries income and more alternative jobs. Uh, and the last is uh, relate to good governance. We have goals to have decreased number of illegal transshipment increase number of uh, transmitter of vessel monitoring system on fishing vessels and increase number of focus group discussion uh, with the stakeholder <laughs> indicator, <laughs> the indicator number of illegal transshipment number of transmitter number of uh, FGD meeting and number of illegal fishing the benchmark is reduce number of illegal into 10 percent on 2020, all of these investors are having transmitter on board, uh, at least uh, 500 transmitter on 2015. And the main domain action, we are organizing uh, FGD in pilot site, uh, government institution laws and regulation, and the finance uh, from government and NGO. This way, uh, we uh, use rule uh, and regulation because our future, uh, if we don't uh, have it into government institution, they won't obey us. Okay, uh, and the, for system monitoring and evaluation, we have uh, yearly meetings to monitoring and uh, for the, okay. <laughs> okay, that is uh, our presentation and I would like to inform you, uh, not relevant with this, but uh, today because of uh, we represent in Papua, so I with Mr. Abu using Papua Bati. This is a nice one. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, uh, terima kasih. In the issue part, the first set of issue you have written that reduce the catch of juveniles, turtles, and sharks. I think the issue is increased catch of juveniles, turtles, and Yes. And what you want to achieve is to reduce. India, Sri Lanka, and Sri Lanka, and Japan. So, our presentation is EFM plan in Park Bay. Uh, uh, first of all, I explain the uh, background. Uh, Park Bay is a sea area between India and Sri Lanka. And the fish of both countries fish in Park Bay, both countries. 
So, and in the end, tomorrow, about uh, 2,000 regularly get into Sri Lanka water in, for fishing. So. And over here, you see what are the threats, the proximate uh, threats, as we maintain the open access. Uh, so, this information was later on used in preparing our vision as well as some of the threads that came to the top of the matrix were used to come up with the objectives. Let me pass on to Murali. Thank you, Ms. Mendy. So my job here is to just explain clearly the goal, issue, objective, indicator, benchmark, management actions, rules, regulation, finance, and other we have followed for developing the plan. So, based on the vision, what we want to achieve, the four goals what we had uh, planned was fishery and ecosystem restored by sustainable management of fishing activities, of regulations, compliance through co management, and then political will developed by engaging all stakeholders for transboundary fishery management, fishing access clearly defined and complied by all stakeholders. The Issues we try to address here are overcapacity, overfishing, and bycatch. And the objective here are reduction of trawl efforts in Indian waters, complete stoppage of trawling in Sri Lankan waters. Because Sri Lanka is not having trawl. They what Indian trawlers are going for. So it is hundred percent has stopped. And the third one is increased abundance of dugong in Park Bay. These are the three objectives. And for this objective, the indicators are number of trawlers operating and duration of operation. This could be the indicator of whether we achieved it or not. Number of dugongs encountered in the annual surveys. This is an annual survey going on. So we can estimate them. And the benchmark would be 30% of 2,000 Indian trawlers reduced in Indian waters by 2018. That's the target. Because it's around 2,000 trawlers operating from Indian waters at Kosi. And then 0% trawling in Sri Lankan waters by 2018. For this, the management actions are appointing a national steering committee, because this is on the Indian side, national steering committee to reduce the trawl effort in Agde in India. Finalize the terms of reference of the committee and work plan on the co-management. Okay. Uh, to to fulfill these objectives, uh, we have listed down what are the data that are existing already in both these countries. They take into consideration Sri Lanka as well as India. These are the information. We have quite a lot of information already available. And these are the sources, uh, publications or the institutions which are uh, which have the ownership over this data. And But we need to have, collect some more. Uh, and uh, like the productivity, stock assessment, hydrography, ecosystem models. Uh, if we can develop uh, these models using uh, collecting uh, primary data, it will be very useful for this project. And we have also indicated what are the methodology uh, for using and analyzing uh, these uh, data, primary as well as the secondary data. Then we have tried to plot the communication strategy for this project, like who will be the target audience, a host of uh, target audience. In both India and Sri Lanka, you do not have EEC, Exclusive Economic Zone. It's only 32 kilometers. A person can swim from here to this place. So the middle point is the international boundary. Boundary, halfway. Um, can you give a little Simple example of uh, buyback for the troll boat. No, actually, uh, this is a proposal that is going on in India for quite some time, especially in the case of Park Bay. See, uh, this is based on experience elsewhere, where you can the government takes the initiative of buying back the thing, maybe they're giving them a depreciated cost of the craft and helping them to rehabilitate themselves. So, this has been discussed and uh, some of the fishers in Tamil Nadu are agreeable to it, but then they have not come to terms of 
how it should be done. I think this is the next area where we have to do further and the funding support for it because it will be a large amount. If you, even if you 30 percent has to be reduced, it has to be a large thing. And the major risk is unless we close the area for further entry, then it doesn't make any sense. I remove my boat and then someone else comes and fish in the sink. Then the purpose is completely defeated. So that legislation also has to come in place and there should be some mechanism by which the compliance is ensured. No, nothing. Because it's very interesting. Have you ever observed that in detail? Very informative and very useful for us. I think the indicator for me is that our trainers have taught you all very well. Well done, trainers. Well done. <laughs> Just a few comments. Um, the background is very important. Those groups that are Cambodian, Vietnam, on your on your resource map, okay? Because that's the that's where the conflicts will be. Uh, issues, indicators, benchmarks. We've still got those a little bit confused. Um, but I think we fixed that by our learning, okay? This was a learning process, and as we went round, people were helping each other, and I, I thought that was excellent. So I think we've got them pretty right now. I guess we now have to remember this was just an exercise, okay? These are not your plans, okay? You cannot take these back to your, to your stakeholders and say, ah, we have a plan. <laughs> Let's go tomorrow, okay. This, you now have to repeat everything you've learnt and go back with the stakeholders and develop this. And I'm sure the result will be quite different. Okay. Here we have a scientist and a, and a policy person, so it's a science policy looking plan. Um, when the fishermen get involved, it will end up quite differently. So the next step, especially in Ribbeck, and I think Rick will emphasise this again, is for you to take this learning now and go back and develop these plans with your with your so you're not there yet. And my last comment is, I think we're being a bit optimistic that some of the management of each actions we're putting in now will fix these problems and meet the objectives. And I'd like you to think a little bit more broadly about what other management um, actions there are. We tend to sticking to the ones we're already doing, closed seasons, mesh sizes, you know, there are other experience out there of things that work, <coughs> and the fishermen will come up with solutions, probably better solutions than we will. They'll work it out if you, if you, if you involve them. And my last comment, can I have that um, board with open access and these the issues? Somewhere in the future in Asia, we'll have to fix that major overarching what we call the root cause of, of all the problems. So thank you very much everybody for excellent presentations. I now hope you've got enough knowledge and experience to go back and, and do that. Don't be scared of making mistakes. Okay? You'll learn by that. It won't work perfectly. Okay? And you'll learn by that. Well that didn't work because the fishermen are very clever and they'll find a way of getting around every rule and regulation you put in. You've got to get them to work with you. So thank you for everybody for all that excellent work and a good indication that we have a lot to look at at the end of this week. Back to... Thank you, sir.